Hi, this is the first video of section Recommended Systems. In this section, we'll talk about memory-based collaborative filtering, item to item recommendation with KNN, we'll apply matrix factorization on dataset, and we will use WordBatch for real-world problem. In this video, we will take the data from the RECSIS 2018, we'll process the data for recommended system format, and we'll apply user-to-user -user collaborative filtering. What is the RECSIS Challenge 2018? The Rexis Challenge is organized by Spotify and the University of Massachusetts, Amherst and Johannes Kepler University Linz. And Spotify, you know it's it, and the university as well. And the year's challenge focuses on music recommendation, specifically the challenge of automatic playlist continuation. By suggesting appropriate song to add to playlist, a recommended system can increase user engagement by making playlist creation easier, as well as extending listening beyond the end of the existing playlist. Okay, let's go to the code. Okay, we have uploaded all the libraries needed. And here I'm taking the slice of data from the Rexis 2018 because it's quite big. So it's just a slice of it. It's a JSON format. So this function just logging the data frame. If you would like, you can just review it further after the video. And so we have uploaded the data frame. We have dropped the column we don't need. Dropping the column. And we have created the artist list. And there would be a vocabulary of artists. So we need only the unique artist. That's why it's a set. And they are iterating through data frame to get sequence of artist name that they contain in playlist. So we're getting artists from playlist JSON type. And we're creating set with unique artist name. It's here. Well, and we're also creating the index artist name to index and index to artist name. We'll need it further to just take information from the data set to understand whom we have recommended to whom. And we're also converting the sequence of artist name to sequence of artist index. And here's a train sequence. Here's validation sequence. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's import it here, load data frame and our data preprocessing. Yeah, it's done. And here we are taking the binary sparse artist playlist matrix and we'll need to use it further. Okay, it's done. Okay, let's go to building the recommendation systems. The basic idea is pretty straightforward. We can find the most popular artist, the most popular song, and just recommend it to everybody. And here's the code. We are looking for a most frequent artist, three of them, and we just recommend them. And there are two metrics we are looking for. There is a hit rate and there is a precision. So the precision means how many artists we have suggested would be in a playlist otherwise and the hit rate you can see it here it's a hit rate it's pretty easy it just uh, the number of the artist is in the list so let's make it and you see that the hit rate and the precision rate is really really low so there is another way we can try to do this we can find the similarity between the users and then we can just suggest uh, the artist from one user playlist to playlist of another user. What we are doing here is there is a playlist of distances, a playlist artist, and we are taking a pairwise distance of them. There is a distance playlist and well, we are looking for a most similar three of them. Well, and of course, we need to remove the user which we're looking for because he is the most similar for himself. And then we are just calculating the same metrics as in the previous one. And let's run it. It should be pretty fast. And yep. Well, and it's strange, but sometimes it happens. As you can see, this hit rate and precision here is much lower than from the baseline so it's not a good idea to make collaborative filtering based on users 
And in the next video, we'll try to build the recommendation system based on the artist. Perhaps it will give us more information because right now there are thousands of users and almost 10,000 of artists in our playlist. Maybe we could find something better. Okay, let's go to the presentation again. We learned that uh, we can process the data for recommender system, but as you have seen, it's quite tricky. Uh, so I encourage you just to review this because there is not enough time in our video to review all the code needed. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Once you've made it, uh, you will easily make it many times in the future. Well, and actually it's really hard to check your system performance offline because what we know is just what the user has listened to and we don't know what would happen in the real life if we would suggest him another track because well we have only the offline we have only the past and so in real life to check the recommendation system we have to run a b testing in online mode or a b c testing so on and as you can can see the basic approach sometimes they're just better than this user-to-user -user collaborative filtering.